Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. We are back with our original Gingerbread Man cookie decoration character transformation video. This character has been highly requested to be transformed into a giant Gingerbread Man cookie. So, introducing Sonic! Well, Sonic the Hedgehog is not really yet here. <laughs> but we are going to transform this giant cookie into Sonic. And here are the ingredients that we will need for this cookie transformation. Lots of fondant. I used a white frosting and custom made the following colors. We have blue, tan and red colors. A writing gel of green, black colors and I also have this darker green shade. Variety of baking tools as well as edible markers. Candies for decoration. Here I have some Christmas candies too. Pictures of Sonic the Hedgehog for inspiration. Tray and of course giant gingerbread man cookie. And don't forget to protect your working space since this activity will get sticky and messy. Our cookie is already out of the box. Thankfully it came in in one piece because we did have a surprise in the past when I opened up the box and the cookie was all broken. And this cookie smells absolutely delicious. Mm -mm. So I have this super old notebook that I use <laughs> with a bunch of cookie designs and here is Sonic design as a cookie. We are going to start with the bottom and I'm going to be using this red frosting for Sonic's shoes. Sonic and I have something in common. Sonic is super fast and energized and I feel extra energized on days when I drink lots of coffee. I wish I didn't drink lots of coffee today because my hands are shaky. <laughs> Taking my tool and spreading the frosting. Next, I'm taking white frosting and adding white bottom to his shoes, as well as white strap and white socks. To make his socks look more realistic, I'm going to be adding these white pearl candies on top. Next, I'll be using these pumpkin candies of yellow color and add it as the shoe detail. Okay, now we are going to put a cookie aside and work with fondant. So I'm going to warm up the fondant and roll it pretty flat but also not too thin because I am going to cut out the shape of Sonic's head spikes. The excess fondant I'm going to place around his head for support. I know, I know, it kind of looks funny for now, but trust the process. I'm going to use a little bit more fondant and make his ears out of it. I just wanted to show you that I am making a little indent inside of his ears. This way they do look like real ears. Now as we have our base and shape of his head and ears, I'm going to paint everything blue. I won't be painting his hands because he is wearing white gloves. I'm going to use my plastic knife and spread the frosting around. For extra definition, I'm going to add this blue sparkle gel. Okay, next I'm going to paint his white gloves. Okay, next I'm going to add his chest and his mouth and nose area. And I think this is a pretty close color match. Now 
Next, I'm taking my bowl tool and carefully, carefully, carefully spreading this frosting. I wanna make sure that the color's not going to mix. Same color I'm going to add inside of his ears, but I will outline it with black color also to add shadows. Next, I'll be using this pretty sharp tool and I will gently blend these colors together. Not mix them, but just blend so it looks like there is shadow in his ears. With the gentle strokes, I'm adding fur to his tummy. add some more of these white pearl candies to his gloves. Next, using more fondant to make his eyes. Carefully placing his eyes down on top of the cookie. For his nose, I'll be using this black skeleton candy. Next, I'm going to paint his green eyes with this green gel. And on top, I'm going to add a little bit of lighter green. I was going to use these white pearly candies for the light reflection in his eyes, but decided to use these white stars instead. To outline his eyes, I'm gonna use this blue sparkle gel. And now it looks like he has brows. <laughs> and we are officially finished. Here is Sonic the Hedgehog transformation into a giant gingerbread man cookie. Oh, like I say, vice versa, gingerbread man cookie transformation into Sonic. I am very happy with this cookie. I think he looks great, absolutely delicious, colorful. And if you think I did a good job transforming cookie into Sonic, give me a big thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below, which character shall I transform into giant gingerbread man cookie next? All right, y'all, Sonic and I have to run. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.